everyone and welcome back so today we're back with another let's play video for blue fire that just released last week uh, if you didn't catch part one you can check it out we did the first 30 minutes of the game um right now we were actually fast forwarded like i played about i would say two to three hours off camera and now uh, we're entering the second temple that i found in the game so basically this is sort of a continuation so if you really want to see the game from the beginning i really think you should take a look at part one but if you saw part one and you just want to get more of a feeling of how the game plays out as things go forward well this part two is going to be excellent and this will probably be the last entry before the official review that i put out on the game now basically just to get a lay of the land uh, since the last time for anyone that watched part one well, basically, I finished Temple 1, and now we are moved on to Temple 2, and I went through what would be the city location of the game. Uh, the only thing that maybe would have changed on my perspective at the beginning is that basically, this game is really, really focused on platforming. Like, even the temples so far, well, if Temple 2 is anything like Temple 1, Temple 1, there was hardly any combat. It was all focused around platforming. And so far... This is what seems to be the main mechanic of the game. Uh, secondly, just so that we know where we're at and what I've done since the last one, I've completed five voids. There's one here that says zero on 30, but I actually completed the void and I have all the crystals from it. It just seems to be bugged. And even if even though I went through it a second time, it still stayed at zero on 30 and doesn't say completed, but I have the health upgrade and I have all the little uh, things that you pick up. Uh, secondly, uh, we picked up some new swords, so I'm now at a sword that does 18 damage. Um, other than that, inventory-wise, I just changed the color of my tunic. And basically, uh, we also picked up the fire charm, which lets us cast a fireball spell with the X button now. And basically, I still haven't found any spirits. I'm pretty sure I found a guy that sells spirits. But I haven't found any naturally in the game, so I don't know if you're supposed to buy them all. But none of the spirits really seemed like it would help gameplay. So I forgotten, I, for, I, for, I didn't buy any of the first spirits I found from a vendor. Hopefully we'll be unlocking some throughout the gameplay, but we'll see. Uh, lastly, other than that, well, we're going to be starting the second temple, so I really haven't gone in here at all. Let's get started. Also, I developed the uh, wall run ability from the first temple. So now, as you go, you're going to see in a few seconds, we can wall run. So combat is really more dependent, I would say, on uh, movement than it is on like comboing. So that wasn't maybe the perfect a perfect fight, but as you can see, you're better off just moving around till you get a good angle, running at the enemy. So we already have a key. We have an emerald. By the way, those emeralds that you pick up, basically you can sell to a guy to have extra currency. Um, so that was pretty much that. So yeah, as you can see, like the temples are really designed around platforming. Like basically, you sort of have to figure out where you have to go platforming wise. Now I'm guessing we might have to go actually all the way up there. This might just be a rest between step one and step two. So hopefully we'll be able to make this. Oh, that was bad. I guess I have to start out by dashing. Let's start this over. And as you can see, most of my deaths so far have not been from combat. They have almost all exclusively blind been from platforming so that what we're gonna do is we're gonna dash at the wall and we'll try to make it to the top and right now i have no fire um essences so i also can't heal 
So we're going to hopefully not die too much in these attempts. Go back down here because that is not working. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do anyway. I'm just not really executing properly. So let's aim at this wall. And there we go. And pretty sure that was it. So we seem to have platforms there. Also, I figured out that the little platforms on the ground, you do have to emote on them and they unlock special chests. Um, you have to have the proper emote. So there is an advantage to buying the emotes when you see them. Possess. Okay, let's just smash this first. What is possess? Oh, I guess we're going to move this guy over to the tile. Then we're going to go over to the other one, most likely. Do the same thing. As you can see, the temples are really, like, they really remind me of Zelda-like temples. Like I said, the only thing is they seem to be way more focused on platforming than they are on um, combat. Now, as usual, you can take fall damage in this game. So make sure to not drop from too high of a height or you're going to be taking damage for nothing. And we have a small cutscene coming. Now, I didn't mention it too, but in the first temple, I was sort of disappointed by the boss fight. I basically one-shot it and no strategy whatsoever. I just jumped at the boss, slashed, and pretty much killed him. So I'm hoping that the other bosses are going to be a little tougher than that. Tragic fate, which eventually became inedible. Now I'm trapped inside my own temple, obscured in shadow and corruption. Yeah, so the first one we had to liberate, like, the god of the temple. Abolish the creature freeding from my soul. Well, we will try and do that. I'm really hoping to find a fire essence in one of these. Because right now, not being able to heal is sort of stressing me out a bit. Because when you die, by the way, you lose pretty much all your accumulated um, currency. And if you don't find your body without dying again, you basically lose it permanently. Sort of like Hollow Knight. Now this is some... This is some really different music. I mean, it's good, but it's really uh, it's intense. Oh, nice. A fire essence. Let's just see if we can find a second one. I also bought an upgrade, so I can now hold three fire essences, which means I can basically heal three times. Yeah. No, I don't want none of that. So, let's just... Let's just fire spell one of them down. Because uh, three of them is a little intense. Okay, so did we get pretty much everything that looks to be got in this room? Seems like it. I mean, this statue seems... May his grief forever live in our rivers. Here, the god of waters. Okay. So this is a water temple. You know how much we love water temples in Zelda. Let's hope this one doesn't have to all to do with water levels. Because the first temple, by the way, had to do with water levels already. Now, so far, I am really enjoying the game, by the way. Uh, there may be one element that sort of annoyed me, is that even in, like, the village or hub world type 
situation thing. You have to do platforming to get to each section of the map. And I can see that if we have to go there on a regular basis, it's going to get repetitive and annoying. Just because just to visit one vendor to another, you have to like platforming sections where you actually really might die and, and, and stuff. And it does eventually become a wee bit annoying, um, you know, when you have to do it like in a repetitive fashion. Okay, so I took damage there. Okay, so not too sure what his pattern is, but we'll figure it out in a future fight. I'm pretty low, so let's heal up. I just want to get a lay of the land first, so we saw a door over there. That's blocked off for the moment. That's, we're full of magic, so let's just make an, let's get an easy kill. Okay, we've got no key. We could platform there, most likely. Thinking if I dash jump, we would make it. But I did hear that there is a double jump that I don't have yet. And I have a feeling that hopefully this temple will give it to us. Because that will change so much having access to a double jump. So, actually we can platform across there. Let's see what's over there first. So here we'll wall run, jump out, and then dash. Hey, this guy's getting annoying. Those guys are getting annoying, like they hit you. Not quite sure how you're supposed to approach them, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Like we figured out pretty much all the other ones. That stamina bar when you're doing... Uh, basically when you're wall running is really important because once you're out of it, you basically just drop. So it's real important to keep an eye on your stamina bar as you're doing that. Another one of these. really gonna yeah so that's better so if i just hit dodge hit dodge hit dodge so far that one worked out pretty well oh, there's a ladder here One of those two. Awesome. And me here saying that the temples weren't all around combat, and then we get like a heavy combat section. Now, this guy, I'm just gonna magic fireball down because we're full on magic. No reason to take any chances. We're going to check. We might have the key for that door. There's a huge chest there. And we're going to check it out first. Because those are usually the ones that will give serious upgrades. Like I said, I'm really hoping for that double dash. I'm just trying to see if there aren't any fire essences. Because we're a little low. This is... Um, we're not going to buy... Oh, yeah. Let's buy an emote because we're probably not going to come back here soon. Yeah, sure. Give me one. I tried to buy the ones in the temples first because not so sure that we're going to be revisiting the temples. The ones in the cities and stuff, I've stopped buying because you need currency for a lot of stuff in this game, by the way. A lot of the upgrades you have to buy when you meet the vendors and stuff. So I would recommend holding off 
Okay, we need a holy key. But we don't have it. We have an old key. So let's go see if that door can be opened. And yes, we can. So we can progress this way. One thing about this game, too, is it really doesn't hold your hand in any way. Like, some people are going to like that, some people aren't. But this game really tells you, like, never where to go, what to do. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy here because he's freaking annoying. Oh, and we got them both. Which means that that was really worth it. One down. We have one left. There we go. So, small battle challenge done. Let's see if this is the holy key. Because often that's how the temples work. You have a side room. Kill them. Get the key. Now we're going to be able to go open up that chest. So as you can see, it really is like a 3D Zelda meets Hollow Knight. Um, oh, this is our double jump. Nice. Pull up in the air. So there we go. Now things are probably going to open up a lot. Because this double jump, like, if you play this game, you'll see how once you, like, you feel like you knew that you knew it was coming. You knew this game had to have it. You were just waiting for when it would actually give it to you. Because there's no way that this game asks you to do all the platforming it does with not, without eventually giving you a double jump. So let's go back down and let's go explore now that we have our double jump. Let's go explore that side route we didn't go last time. Now I am really happy that we have this because, like I said, it was frustrating me in a lot of situations not having a double jump. However, I do feel at the same time, if this game does like it usually does, it's going to make the platforming 10 times harder because now you have the tools to actually do this. So we're just going to reverse this here. So we're going to wall run and then dash at the end as well. Him, we're just not going to care about. Let's go look here. Now, I think we could have actually jumped down for up there and just wall glided. I just wasn't... I, I felt like it was the right room, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I'm like, let's just go through it the proper way. Those blocks. They eventually reform? I assume so. Yeah. Okay. Fire essence. Come on, please. Fire essence. go at two fire essences i feel comfortable in this game i you know you can heal twice that means you can sort of mess up once deal with whatever you have to deal with and then come back now how do we get at that you see what i mean when i say this game throws you some crazy platforming when you get a new ability actually i think we had to go yeah, I think we have to go back where we went from, and I think we have to come from the top. I'm sort of feeling that's the way. Unfortunate. Like, can we actually make that? Most likely if we wall run with the double jump now. Okay, let's go back to where we were. This guy's annoying. Let's just do this. 
Ugh, I'm out of magic. God darn it. I don't have to hear him anymore. Yeah. With the double jump, like these sections before that were sort of iffy. I had to say that. You obviously die. But if I wasn't playing like a Dumbo, these sections would be much easier than they were before not having our fame, our new double jump. I so knew that I was going to do that. I was going to say, hey, look, these sections are easier and of course mess it up. So, this game likes to do that, though. It gives you a path where you can go, and it looks like there's no way around it, but the actual path is through a different room. So, yeah, it's down there. I mean, if we wall run and double jump that, I don't see how we don't make it. Fire essence, awesome, we're full up. Their fire essence, but we cannot get it. If all this does is open up this. How do we open up that? Because I'm assuming that if I move her off, maybe not. Oh no, awesome. I, was, I thought if we'd move her off that the gate would close, but I guess not. Another key, so it's a good thing we came this way because undoubtedly at one point we would get to a part. We'll need that key, and if we didn't come this way, we'd have to double back. No, we don't want to go this way. We went this way, and there didn't seem to be any way out. Now we're gonna go the long way because now with the double jump, I'm pretty sure we can make that. See here. Here, I didn't think we could make it before, but now with a double jump, I don't see how we don't make it. There we go. Another emote statue. Darn it. Yeah, sure, give me another one. I mean, in the temple itself, there's not much to spend currency on. I'm hoping, I guess we can do this. It must be, this must be like the test to make sure that you learn that you can dash and double jump. Yeah, there we go. So now at least when we're going to get back to the city hub, uh, it's probably going to be a lot less frustrating getting around because now we have that, that double jump. I don't know if we can wall run that type of wall. Like, what do I have below me? Uh, uh, look, let's try it. Who cares? Let's just do it. So yes, we can wall run those, which is good. got like a moving platform down there. I assume we have one on that side as well. 
Let's do this here. Okay. Just take a couple of seconds and look at the timing on this. There's nothing else we can do up here, right? Yeah, no. Well, I don't know if we had to come here. But that's where we are, so... Let's keep going down this path. We'll see if we had if we forgot something and we have to double back. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we die, right, if we jump in that. Like that isn't a because doorways somewhat sometimes are just like black and when you go through them it like brings you to the another section but that really looks like just you're gonna die if you jump in there let's go see what's on this side first then Here. There's switches in there. There are two switches. So that will be our destination. We have to figure out how to get at those switches. Which, let's just see if we jump down here. there's a switch right there and I saw another one off to the side I don't get it this thing isn't closed there has to be a way to get in that I can't target it ugh <sighs> I sort of don't want to end this video staying stuck in a temple, so let's just see if we can figure something out here. Okay, there is an opening there. There is an opening right there. So we've got a... We've got a wall jump our way up. That's the only thing that will work. And I did it on the wrong side. Awesome. We need to do the other side first. The other switch you can get to right away. This one you can't. Okay, so now we just need to do the same thing, but on this side. Boom. There we go. It's going to open the door on the other side. And we'll get to that switch there. Wasn't sh I'm not ugh, not sure where that door is. I hate this game does that sometimes. It shows you like that a switch opened, but it is totally not obvious where that switch was. I'm guessing it must be at the top. Let's go back. Let's go back to the top. What we did first, I guess, is where we had to end. Right? 
Where is that A little frustrating here because it is really not obvious where that switch is that opened up. And I took awesome fall damage. Oh, there's a lip here. Good. Oh, actually, it seems to be back there. How do we do that? I have, I'm, I'm, I imagine... I imagine we have to get on the back on one of these moving platforms and we have to wall run to double jump. So. And there we go. Back to the beginning. I'm actually going to heal up because there's no reason not to. And I'm under the impression we're probably going to be getting close to the boss, or at least to a challenge. So let's make sure that we're ready. So that we don't just get there in an insta-die. Another fight challenge. Awesome! Okay. So that was less than impressive. Okay, let's heal again because I am not gonna die in a random dumb fight because it, it doesn't seem like it but your guy is super squishy like he doesn't take one heart of damage when he gets hit he takes like three or four <clears throat> so now let me just see okay well, I mean, let's see what this does. It's going to be a timed switch. Yeah. Okay, so obviously I want to sort of... I'm not going to worry too much about the time switch right now. I want to see how it is. We get up there first. And then we're going to worry about doing it timed. This has to be okay, that we gotta do really quick. And I'm out of double jumps. Okay. We're still gonna re hit the timer switch. Okay, because just in case we make it in one shot, why not? But I'm definitely just going to have to try and take a couple of seconds and see where we messed up up there. I think it's because I used my double jump at the beginning and I should not have, but we will see that. Now that's too bad, we missed that cycle. But I do think the timer is going to be forgiving enough where you don't have to be perfectly on cycle.
I used my double jump again. Okay, let's reset this one last time. I really got to remember to not use that double jump for nothing. Just like I use that dash for nothing. at that time but I just messed it up I don't know how much more there is to it after that but I'm hoping that there isn't too much more and I'm wondering if I really need to do that like corner jump You don't have time to like look at your jump before you do it because the platform is moving. You know what? I think. Yeah. There we go. We can skip that whole thing. And where am I supposed to go there? Imagine I'm supposed to wall. No. Seriously, guys. No. That is painful. Okay, we're gonna have to use our last fire essence. But where am I supposed to go when we're there? Let's see. Okay. Is it? That, did I go the right way? feels like it from down here. It's just when I started to maneuver up there, it like felt wrong. Okay. At least now we know that we don't need to do the, the corner jump. We can make it directly to the platform. Now, let's try this again. I was trying to see if I could shortcut the other way, but get that. There we go. Now, I mean, it has to be there. Oh, maybe it's there. No, it's... No, there is no way that is it. Oof. We're going to try going the other way. When we're at the top, we're going to try to go going the other way to the platform. Because I don't see that we can make that. That is the way. At least there's a chest there. Not too sure what the chest is going to give us. Old key. Awesome. Are we like at the last part here? Oh, it would suck to make it all the way up here. 
No! It would suck to make it all the way up here and then just basically have to start over, but that's what happens. So let's see if we can at least make it down without taking any damage. I'm gonna. Now, though, we know what to do. We know what to do, where to go. It's just a question of executing. An unlucky start because we're off cycle here. So the timing is pretty tight. I thought it wasn't, but... Yeah, we can. Good thing we didn't miss that one, because... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, like I said, we just have to execute, though. Okay. Last time. Last try. We, we're gonna get this. go i wonder if just stopping for the chest last time like the clock didn't seem to stop so i'm wondering if that actually made us fail this seems to be going a lot faster than last time yeah there we go we made it There's still more to this dungeon. So this dungeon is actually quite a bit longer than the first one. Like the first one had only, I would say, like two major obstacles. And we're pretty much done with it after that. Okay, so. Now we have no fire essences. So I'm not going to mess around with this guy anymore. Oh my god, that's another one of those. But those are a little bit easier. Come on, fire essence. You. Well, who's guessing we have to go in the up the breaking blocks? is this yeah i think this is like a fast way out of the temple yeah so at least when we want if we need to come back so i'm guessing the boss is up there and that's just a fast path back basically if you die on the boss you don't have to go through the whole temple again you can just make it directly there which is a good thing that they thought of that because honestly honestly you have dumbasses like me that do that please give me fire essence somewhere on this so actually double jumping is a mistake here and please give me fire essence no fire essence so we're going to probably have to attempt the boss with two hearts fingers crossed And it's not the boss yet, so... 
I'm almost happy because I wouldn't have wanted to face the boss with like two. Okay, good. Yeah, because I'm not dealing with that as I'm trying to platform. And we only have one key, right? I don't I don't have another key. Never mind, I don't. So obviously we have to find that other key. This seems like the only available path. Yeah. Okay, so I don't see how I can... Oh, God. Dead. So hopefully we're actually going to be able to get back there to get our currency back. Because we did have quite a bit. But other than that, there isn't any major drawbacks. And the currency is easy to make up again. Yeah. So... We'll see just how much of the temple we have to go back through, but I think that most of it we will not. My fire essences are back. Okay, we're just gonna go through this room. F, F, F these guys. There we go. Like we are in full speed run mode. I just want to get to the end of this. was down there. I don't get it. I thought the chest opened up so we could get back here and not have to do all this again. Oh, god darn it. I know where I should have gone. I went the standard route, but this is not how we should have done it. Okay, well, we're here and we can't activate that again. So we have to go back. I'm a little dumb. Sorry about this, guys. I'm going to try and double back as fast as possible. We have to go back up to where we got the double jump upgrade. And that's where you can go to the other side of the chest. this the other way around is quite difficult. Track quickly. 
Okay, so back here. Here. You're not caring about any of these guys. There we go. See, this is where it opened up. Okay. Don't care about you either. Okay, I'm not gonna... Man, that, that guy did so much damage to me. It's, it's insane. We're gonna try this one last time. Hopefully we'll get to the end of this temple. If not, I'm gonna pretty much have to end the video in about 10, maybe max 15 minutes. So hopefully we will see a conclusion to this temple. There's my body. I don't know how close we have to actually get. So, not sure that was the intended way to do that, but it worked because it reset our double jump. Okay, so obviously, double jump dash. Let's try and replace the lost fire essence. Oh, god damn. At least we got one of the fire senses back because we took some damage again there. We really shouldn't have. There we go. Is this the last key? There we go. We have the last key. Hopefully, hopefully this is the last key. And we can just get to the end of this temple and finish up this video on a high point. Here we go. 
go. What? That isn't the right key? No. Oh, I am so sad. I am so, so sad. And now I'm platforming like garbage because I'm vexed that that was not the key we needed. Oh my god. I went too quick. There's probably something else up here. We have a holy key. But it's telling me that that is not it. By the way, I saw people online saying that this game crashes a lot. So far, I have, I've had no crashes whatsoever. I'm not saying that they, their game isn't crashing. I'm just saying that I'm not quite sure what is causing it. Because mine has been very stable. Long God of Wind. I'm guessing maybe, just maybe, we can make it to the other side from up here. The other side over there. Yeah, okay, we can do that. And there is stuff here, so... This could be our answer. So let's... Uh. So, it's not positive, but getting hit does reset your double jump. So that is maybe something important to know, because... It can maybe make some sections that are difficult a little bit easier. And that is the key we needed for that. Okay. Are we fighting a boss anytime soon? Well, there's a there's the other door and we already have the key. Let's hope this is it. And it is. So let's lock on to this guy. I don't know if we can. That does not seem like where we want to be. And I can't lock on to him. But at least we damaged him. I'm going to use a fire essence. Come on! I hit like fire essence like three times. That was pure, pure. I I don't agree with that. I I was hitting fire essence. I was spamming it. Okay, it's a straight run to him. We're, we're gonna try and do this. Now we have all three fire essences. Okay, we have to kill him because I'm not going to do all this crazy platforming with him right there. Pretty sure he would hit me during my wall jumping. Go. Like last time, we run by these guys. We don't want anything to do with their them. At least it's a straight run through. It should take us like a minute or two to get back to the boss. And we don't want anything to do with either. No, thank you. Oh. 
worst is he's the boss doesn't seem that hard i'm just not executing at all like i should be oh thank you him we'll have to deal with We don't actually need to deal with him. As long as I'm not locked on, though. body back so i'm gonna just pause the video for two seconds i'm just gonna wait for my magic meter to actually fill up so we're just gonna pause the video for like a minute and then we'll be right back to fight the boss a second time never mind that i had to not touch the door so we're gonna try this without magic Hey, if I could just... Well, that time at least, I got it off. It's because not being able to lock on is actually a huge pain. So we got some really nice damage there. When he jumps up, I've got to jump no matter what, in case he does, in case he does the whole wave thing. I think he does it, basically he does one shot, no wave, and one shot with a wave. That seems to be pretty much the pattern so far. At least we're full on magic again. Oh, because yeah, I'm not fighting these these guys. So, one more cycle. We pretty much got this guy. Oh, go. Oh. Take a couple of magic blasts. Oh. Uh, why are we getting these things? And we got him down. Yes. So the second temple boss is now beaten. So let's see what our reward is. Now which way did which way is out? I'm thinking the open door is the new way. Is the door closed behind? And we're rewarded with a cutscene. So, guys, that is a full temple of the new game. Maybe it'll give you an idea if this is a game you want to do, because like you want to play, because like I said, it is a full blown like 3D Zelda meets, like I said, Hollow Knight, you know. And honestly, it is I'm really enjoying the game. The only thing, like I said so far, that was becoming annoying is that 
at no point was were there any sections of the map where it wasn't hardcore platforming however now with the double jump i'm really thinking that things are going to be getting better and they're going to be feeling better so anyway we are going to end the video here okay and as usual if you did like this please don't forget to hit the like button it really does help out a lot if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.